Hello, I'm going to do a, another quick tutorial today. I'm going to do the Neo Geo AES or Advanced Entertainment System. Uh, I originally started off this console as a rental console in Japan to show um, shops and stores and things. Uh, give them an example of like the arcade machine, the MBS arcade machine, and then it, it pretty much took off. It became like a luxury game console in Japan and then obviously around the world everybody wanted to get hold of one of these machines it's like having an arcade machine in your, in your own home basically so I'm going to be using RetroArch and the main core to emulate the system today and I'm also going to show you how to launch it through Hyperspin I'm using the main core as I say, so the settings are just pretty much the same for all the systems that use that main core that I've shown you in the past. I'll uh, include the system folder which contains the ASH folder in the description at the bottom of the page so you can download it and I'll show you where to place it just in case you've never done it before. So first of all just go to RetroArch, so go to RetroArch, go launch. Uh, then we should go to online updater and core updater. I have done a RetroArch setup video if you're struggling on using RetroArch to show you the basics of getting it up and running. Just let this download, it should take about 30 seconds. Yeah, let's extract it. There we go. Back, back out of here now. Like I said, um, I'll leave this a link in the description at the bottom of the page for the system folder. All you need to do is once you've downloaded it, is unzip it. I'm gonna I'm using ES File Explorer here, and then you're gonna go to Home, go to Android, which should be in the root of your root folder of your Android device. Uh, data down to com.retroarch and then you're just going to paste it next to this files folder this files folder contains the system folder don't get the two confused they're completely different so just go back back out of there and we're going to open up the system folder i've got a lot of systems up pre-set up already we're going to be working on this AES one. I'm just going to show you quickly. You should have in this folder here, in this system folder, all you should have at the moment, unless you've followed some of my other videos, is this main folder. In the main folder, you'll have these few other folders. And this ash folder the ash folder gives us the name of our games so for neo geo aes and mbs it is the games that have been named identical to the neo geo xml i'm just going to show you quickly in case you've never seen it before so inside these xml files if i just clicked on the neo geo xml it does the as I see at the top. It does the MBS and the AES. And I'm just going to show you what you're looking for. It is. Let's try and find another one. AES. There we go. As you can see, where it says software name equals as a set of brackets with TP Golf in in lowercase. In between the two brackets that's if you if you wanted to play the top players golf as you can see the third line down on that thing where it said description top players golf if you wanted to load that rom it'd have to be named tp golf in lower cases exactly with no spaces i just identical to that name for both mbs and the AMA, aes versions again if you go down to the next game that's we'll try and find one with just one system that as you can see there it says a uh, maglord and that's just for them mbs version 
which is Magician Lord. So if you had that game on AES, you'd have to, it, it wouldn't work. If you named it Mag Lord, you'd have to look for the AES version of Mag, uh, Magician Lord and find out what the name is. And as you can see underneath it, it's got Mag Lord H there in the two brackets, which is Magician Lord for the AES version. So on the AES, I'd have to name it uh, Magician Lord Mag Lord H. On the MBS, I'd have to name it Mag Lord lower again lowercase. So we're using we're going to be doing I think it's King of Fighters 2000, which I've already got the name for. So I'm just going to back out of here. Just going to back out of here. So in here you're going to create a folder called AES. So just create your folder. And then you're just going to put your ROMs in here in a zip format. As you can see, I've got King of Fighters and SNK versus Capcom already pre named via the names, as it says in the XML file. I'll just, I don't know what font type are in here. There should be an either a zip or a 7 zip for, uh, format in this file. As you can see, the load of BIM files here. But you don't have to worry about them. They should cut you should already have it already in a zip format. Let's go back, let's go back right back. Aligned. Let's click back onto there. So we've got our system folder. We've copied and pasted it, or we cut it or copied it, whatever you want to do. Paste it next to our files folder. We've gone to the ash folder to find out the name what we need to name our games in the main folder. So you go to main, ash folder, down to the neogeo.xml file and checks out the names. Then we backed out of there, we backed out of there. And then again, in this system folder, in the system folder, we created a folder called AES in lowercase. And in there we put our ROMs and we've named them exactly as it says in between the brackets in our XML folder. The next thing we need to do is create another folder called AES. Don't worry about this main folder. This main folder will automatically appear once you've uh, set your system up and it just contains the configuration files and they, they automatically sets these up for you. So don't worry about that folder whatsoever. So you're going to create inside our AES folder, we create with our games next to our games we create another folder called AES and this is where we're going to put our BIOS files and as you can see all my BIOS files are here already for the Neo Geo AES and they're also in a zip format too so I've got them in zips all together in one zip file folder and I've got them all separate individual as well I'll just click on this to show you inside just to show you as you can see, they're all inside that zip folder too. So once we've got to that stage, we're ready to try and launch one of our games. So we're just going to back out of here now. And we go to RetroArch. Back to RetroArch. And we're going to go to launch spectral art and we go to settings if you've not already done so from my previous videos and we're going to go to directory and you're going to set the system bios directory to the folder that we've just pasted in so we're going to go to sd card android data com dot and system and we're going to click use this directory as you can see it's highlighted at the top of the page we click use this directory and then we're going to go to load content and we're going to click select file detect core we're going to go to the fourth space down and we're going to click on 
SD card again. We're going to go to Android. We're going to go to data. And then down to com.retroarch system. And we're using the AES. Just going to click on AES. And then I'm going to click on King of Fighters or KOF 2000. This is King of Fighters 2000. And then we're going to try and load that. We're going to load archive with core. And it's going to give us an option to which core we want to use. And we're going to use the MAME arcade core, arcade MAME. So we're just going to click on that. And then hopefully it's going to start. And I've left the bloody bezel on there. But I'm going to sort that out now. You won't have that. So I'm just back, back out of there. It's because I've just done a video on the PSP. So it's going to go to core options. I'm going to get rid of that. No, I'm not. I'm going to go back, back. I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to on screen overlay. And I'm going to turn it off. And then we're going to go back. And then pretend it never happened that. And then resume content. And as you can see, the game's loaded there. It says Neo Geo AES 90 SNK. So, and there we go. It's that simple. I'll just get it lo loaded up just to show you. So, I'm just going to press start. Just going to go single play. I don't know any special moves or anything on here. I'll just quickly just fly through it. I'll That easy. You can see quick stable core like there's no lag or anything like that. Graphics are pretty sound. You can obviously adjust the screen if you want it to go full screen. Just go to the menu and go go back and settings video aspect ratio I've got mine's on four by three I prefer it as uh core provided normally um click core provided but you can have it on sixteen by nine if you want and um, there we go so it fills up the whole screen I'll show you that quickly in content graphics still look alright still Playable about um, noticing too much, really. Sorry about all the clicking. Right, there you go. Now I'll just show you my settings for hyperspin. I'll just back out of here. Settings. Again, I'll, I'll leave these in the description at the bottom of the page, but it's exactly the same as all the other main system cores that I've done in the past. So Neo Geo AES, and as you can see, it's exactly the same as my other main core systems, which is the X E X E equals. Uh, com dot retroarch forward slash com dot retroarch dot browser dot retroactivity dot retroactivity future with a capital R A and F and the ROM extension it should have seven zip I always forget to put that there as well as ROM uh, just this zip extension and parameters equals cause forward slash main underscore lib retro underscore android dot so and i'll just show you quickly it launching through hyperspin sorry i'll just set up there we go i'll just still running sorry i'll just back out of here a second let's click 
checking it again so, so it starts off and there we go straight into it again just go single play, single player Again, you can adjust the screen whatever you need to. If you if it doesn't automatically load because you can't get because of the double setting system in RetroArch, just go to a, a system what doesn't use um, BIOS files. So let's go to let's go Mega Drive for example. For Mega Drive, launch a Mega Drive game. Go to your settings, directory, and then set, set your BIOS folder from there to the system folder, as we did before. Mine's on a different folder. Mine's on per core settings, but all you have to do is just go down to Android data com.retroarch and then click on the system and then use this directory I'm not going to because mine's on per core settings so but that's all you have to do if it won't load because you haven't set the uh, BIOS folder up just launch Mega Drive adjust the settings Go back to the Mega Drive, zoom content. I'd leave it about 20 seconds just to make sure them settings are saved. Then go back to the settings and then quit RetroArch. And then go back to your, the Neo Geo and try again. And it'll just load. There we go. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.